All right, guys, let's take a normal clip like this and transform it using Photoshop's generative fill and Adobe After Effects. So let's dive into it. So I have a shot here of a flowing creek that I'm gonna tweak using generative fill. So it helps that it's a static shot, but if there was some camera movement, I would have to use motion tracking. So to get this clip from After Effects to Photoshop, I can go to Composition, Save Frame As, Photoshop Layers, or I can bring the clip directly into Photoshop. It will show up as a video clip, you'll see the timeline. I'll convert it to a still by going to Layer, Flatten Image. And I'll unlock the background layer here. I can close my Timeline tab now. I'll select a portion of the land here, and in the contextual taskbar, I'll click on Generative Fill. Then I'll type in a prompt. So let's type in 1800s camp and hit generate. We're kind of going for more like an Oregon Trail kind of look. And it'll render out and it'll come up with a few options. All right, first one looks good beside this weird looking alien person thing. So one of the drawbacks of the generative AI that humans look a little creepy and abstract. So I'm just gonna remove it by selecting it, clicking generative fill and leave the prompt box blank and just hit generate and it'll remove it. So now I'll move to camera left and I'll select a part of the land here to make a trail. So I'll type in dirt trail. All right, second one here looks good. So I'll use that. All right, so now what I'll do is I'll hide my background layer and I'll save this as a PSD and then I'll import it into After Effects. So I'll make sure I import it as a composition so it retains all the layers and I'll drag it on top of my original video clip in the comp. All right, that's looking good. And again, if this had motion in it, I would have to do a little bit of motion tracking. But since this is a static shot, it's a little bit easier. So I'll take it one step further and I'll add a video element to it. I found a stock clip of a pilgrim looking fella in a tent. So I'm gonna composite this into the scene to make it more dynamic and add a little bit more movement to the land portion of the frame. So I'll drag it on and I'll create a mask around the opening of the tent. I'm gonna scale it down and I'm actually gonna make it a 3D layer to change my orientation a bit to kind of align with the opening of the AI generated tent. I'll adjust my mask a bit so it blends into the background. Add a good amount of feather to the edges of the mask. Then I'll add the Lumetri color effect to match the warmth of the scene. To do this, I like to adjust the temperature slider and also tweak the highlight tint in the creative panel. So I'll make this warmer. That looks pretty good. So lastly, I'll add a camera lens blur to it and I'll make it about three. So there you have it. Using the generative fill tool in Adobe Photoshop coupled with Adobe After Effects, you can create scenes that are out of the ordinary and out of your budget. So try it out and make your content stand out. Hope this video helps your videos in the future. Thanks for watching. See you next time.